Hello, hello everyone. It's Maddie Ann Madison. with Spectrum Art. And today we are working on a new idea. So we have got albums, like several binders such as these loaded with thousands. And I do say thousands probably. No, I'm sorry. I might say hundreds. Might be a thousand of lovely ATC cards. Um, some that we've made some that have been made and traded with other folks. But looking at these, you know, I, I like the way that they display on here, but I thought, you know, what if we wanted to give them out as gifts? So what if we wanted to carry them around or put them in a keepsake box? And so the idea came to me, I had purchased these little just blank jewelry boxes. And the idea came to me, what if I could do, you know, I was gonna put them in a box and then I thought, but wait, we could do something with that. You know, I just kind of throw them in there. Um, so the idea came to me to do something with the box to alter it, to actually make it work with, you know, whether it be Project Life cards or poems or sentiments or ATC cards um, or even pictures, photographs, right? So that's how the idea came. So that's where we started. So what I thought we would do is we would grab one of the boxes and I'll show you the one that I've already started actually. We would grab one of the boxes and you know, we'll cover that up and I'll show you how, but we'll, we'll grab one of these boxes and we can actually use it, you know, to create some kind of an album to go ahead and put these in. Now, look at these beauties. These are two of the ones that we've actually made. I love Alice in Wonderland. So, okay, so, I thought, why just kind of drop them in there, right? Let's do something else. That's where the idea came in to do an accordion box. Um, so what I did was I went ahead and I grabbed my ruler and I've measured, and I was actually writing the measurements down kind of crudely. But again, these measurements don't mean anything to anyone else because remember, you're gonna grab whatever box you have, a recycled box, you know, so any kind of box that you have that you wanna do this with. And in our case, I got a five and a quarter by three and a half. So what I did was I went ahead, which is perfect by the way. So what I went ahead and did was I cut my pieces just slightly shorter and I used my cutter and I just cut the width and the length. And actually what I did was because of the way that the pages worked, I used my uh, bone folder, but you could just do it with a ruler and measure them and then kind of went back and forth, back and forth until I made an accordion. So it looks like this, right? Now I cut out a whole bunch more because you know me, I'm always you know doing more than I should, but it's good to have extra ones. A, we can use them for um, another box because I do have this whole nother set or um, you know, you can always add more pages if need be, but these will not go to waste. But then I kind of stopped myself because I realized that some of these are dimensional, right? Like these have these jewels and this one is up on pop dots. So it's obviously once again, gonna puff out some, so you don't want to overload it to the point where the box won't close. So I stopped at what I thought would be a good amount. Now here's what I thought the lid let me show you guys the lid. Actually, let me go ahead and show you what I've done so far with the lid. The lid was like this, right? But I decided to go ahead and snip off the back end. Uh, and I went ahead and reinforced it with washi tape because I want this to become a hinge to open and close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue the back piece. And now that it's open, see how it kinda opens this way? and I'll probably put a handle or something on here, but it's gonna open up this way. And then these pieces here are going to fold in here. And then I think I'm gonna attach this this way. And so when the book, the box opens, excuse me, then these can just be flipped through, you know, to kind of go through your pictures or your poems or your ATC cards. So that's what I got cooking. So. We went ahead yesterday and measured it out and I cut it and I folded. I reinforced, like I said, with washi. Then um, we had gesso the box and then I went ahead and used texture paste. 
um, and one of our stencils to go ahead and give it some, because I've decided we're gonna go steampunkish with this or metallic something. So, you know, that's, that's where the idea behind this came. And then we went ahead and painted. I used three different paints, four different paints. Um, we used the khaki uh, from Delta. We used the Dazzling Metallics from Deco Art. And I used the Iguana um, also. And I had actually started to use this one, which was grass green, but I didn't like it. And that's on the bottom, but it won't make a difference. See, that's why I kind of used the bottom as a tester, just to see how it was going to look. Because remember, I'm going to glue that on there, you know, so that the accordion doesn't fall out. So we'll never even see that piece. So that's a good area to go ahead and test your paints if you want to know. Um, we went ahead and went all around and did the entire box. So there's that. And now the next thing to do is a couple of things. Number one, we want to finish this here. Like I mentioned, I'm going to probably attach a handle. And then I want to figure out what kind of a paper line I want to use to, to put here on the back. Because again, where we have attached these, right? This is your fold. So you've got one, two, three, and then you have this piece left over. That's what gets glued onto the next piece, right? When you glue that, not that it looks terrible, but you see there is a line there and maybe black is not the best color to show this in, but there's gonna be a little line there and you want it to look finished. So we're gonna be mounting, um, you know, some kind of a mat here, some kind of um, a finish, plus the paper line will definitely give this a whole nother look. So that's what we're gonna do next. And when we are done, we will come back. I will hopefully have this completed as well as the papers on the inside and have it all glued down and then we can show you guys our creation and we'll take a peek at how it actually works hopefully it'll work right so we will be back and we are back with our finished creation and here it is let me go ahead and bring it up and hopefully I've got good lighting and you guys can see it up close with all of its yummies and I'll do some pictures in the beginning and at the end um, and Madison what did you do for the box I designed the lid Yes, Madison was the designer of the actual lid. And so all of these yummies and the placements were hers. These were her ideas, including this piece right here, which is really cool. Uh, it says outstanding. Um, so what did we do? We went ahead and attached the lid, just like we had mentioned, right? So it's a hinged lid. We went ahead and reinforced it with washi tape and painted it to make sure that that lid can be opened and closed for a long time to come without falling apart. Um, I did also end up attaching a knob, and Madison picked that one too, um, to make it easy to open and close. There is a hidden ribbon, which you cannot see, but I'll show you in a second what it is for. Um, the one thing I did not do is we chose not to attach the accordion, and I'll show you guys why. When we had talked about attaching it this way, yes, this was going to be great. It was going to flip, you know. But then we realized that all the space in the back was going to be wasted because once you attach it, you can't really get to the back. So we would have lost half of the usable surfaces on the box, which, you know, didn't make any sense. So we attached a ribbon for easy pull, and that's the hidden ribbon that I was telling you about. So it pulls this way, and now you have all the pieces in the back. Let me see if I can kind of go this way I'll have to probably try and move slowly so we have all of these pieces in the back and I didn't actually count them did we count them and then we have no right let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven in the back and then we have all of these yummy pieces in the back I'm sorry in the front one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven as well and so let me show you those 11 actually 12 I forgot that there's one on the bottom remember that we were gonna glue the piece on the bottom so we have now doubled our surface our usable surface as far as being able to um, put more cards and more pictures and more poems more gift cards anything that we want to attach in here we went through our stash yeah I'm gonna show them that in a second we went through our stash and just pick coordinating papers you know in those browns um, the greens the reds 
um, you know, so that's the uh, the paper that we picked. There was an actual a collection. It was just various papers. And then we did go around and distress, of course, every single piece. The other thing that we went ahead and did in order to finish it off was to go ahead and um, decorate the inside of the lid. So now it looks like a vintage trunk or maybe a keepsake box, but it's got all kinds of yummies and it's got a really old, old vintage lace um, that I actually got from my mom uh, and she had for a long, long time. So it's a really nice old, old vintage lace. But, and there you go. And so here's our little box. And again, that ribbon is now hidden and it is hinged and it is ready to hold all kinds of beautiful keepsakes. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope you try it because it's something that not only can you go ahead and, and utilize for many things, but it's also a great gift idea. I mean, who wouldn't love to receive a little box where they can actually keep their pictures and just neatly place maybe on a nightstand or on a coffee table to just go ahead and show off or maybe on their office desk. That's a beautiful way of displaying it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys tried it. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye.